Alright, I've uh, got my GoPro Hero on again and I'm um, getting set up to uh, work on my clay feathers again on my computer cable and uh, I'm not going to show it all uh, you know, because it's going to take hours to uh, put detail in all these feathers So, let's get started. Time to play with some clay. Well, as you can see, I've got uh, all my feathers. I put armatures in every one of them. They're all big, clunky, thick feathers that I've got to take down the thickness on. And uh, I put these uh, next to the uh, clay of the Indian and they work out beautifully uh, as far as size goes. All right, gotta go get my tools and uh, get, let's get started on putting some detail into these feathers. I've got my copper cup of uh, tools. I don't need this many, but uh, I figure what the heck. Uh, this is going to be the main tool that I'm going to use to uh, take uh, or take weight off of the clay. This is a glyptic uh, tool that I got from SculptureDepot.net. Uh, it's a specialty tool that was designed by uh, Karen, the uh, manager and CEO of uh, Sculpture Depot. Uh, she designed this tool with a Allen wrench screw in it that you can undo the screw and you can pull out the uh, head and put another wire uh, end into it. This one is smooth on one side, which I want, and it's got serrated edge on the other side. But uh, the nice thing about these tools, they last forever. Uh, they will never, ever, ever break or loosen up on you. If it loosens up, you just tighten up the uh, Allen screw. And I'll tell you, this saves you tons, and I do mean tons of money, on tools. And they're really, the handles are good size to handle. Uh, a lot of tools are, well, like uh, this tool. That's a small handle, but uh, it works. But it just works better when you got a handle you can really grip onto. All right, I'm going to get started here. Oh, and then I got a, a tool from Ken's Tools. That's, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's got a really serrated edge, kind of like a, uh, well, I don't know what they call that, it's just a real serrated edge, and that's what's going to give me the texture of the feather. And I'm going to keep the texture uniform by using this tool. One end is uh, this wide wire. A lot of movie companies use uh, Ken's tools for detailing. Uh, their three-dimensional art that they use in uh, movies. On this side is a wrapped wire. Uh, it's a, actually uh, piano wire and it gives a kind of nice texture too. And I don't know whether I'm going to use this texture or this texture on my feathers. I'm going to have to decide. I may not use any feathers uh, texture at all. I might just wipe it all out. Okay, the first thing I have to do is take down the thickness of the feather. And you got to be real careful not to dig too deep. I think I'll start from this side.
looks like I took a little too much off the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to worry so much about that because, uh, quite honestly, the uh, bottoms will have fluff on them, and I'll explain more of that later. smaller tool. Now, this is a tool that I got from Sculpture Depot. It's a wooden handled tool. And this is what happens when the wire breaks loose inside the uh, sleeve. Uh, you figure out ways of uh, making it solid and that's what I did was I put a screw in there and it kind of made the uh, head solid. That thins the fe feather down quite a bit. I'm not going to make it much thinner than that. I might feather out the uh, edge a little to, uh, you know, make it look like it's thin, but uh, you don't want to go much thinner than that because the foundry, when you cast it in bronze, uh, you have to have a certain thickness in the wax. Uh, reproduction that they make from the mold and uh, if it's too thin you get blank or you know where areas where the wax doesn't go all the way through the uh, mold so I'm going to set that aside I'm actually going to go get another plate to put the uh, finished feathers on and uh, this is the first stage of doing those and the second stage will be uh, putting the texture and the quill on the feather. On the side that I put the uh, armature in is the side that I'm going to make uh, go from the center down to the uh, board in a kind of a slope. And I got a bowl that I've been putting all my clay scraps in and it's gotten quite big just from uh, doing the trimming last night of uh, all these feathers care if the uh, armature is exposed a little bit because the quill I will put on the feather will cover that up. Now, let's get this out of the way. this side a little concave just take some more weight off the feather and uh, I'm not going to worry about the shape and everything right now but uh, all right I'll come back after I get all these feathers uh, tr uh, thinned out a little well a couple hours later and I've just finishing up on the last feather and this is just a preliminary to finishing the feather and it's about the uh, well this is the uh, second phase I think it is yeah if I'm not mistaken I started out with making the blanks and uh, so this is the second phase I got a third and a fourth phase to do yet and I will pick this up tomorrow 
because uh, it's getting late in the evening and uh, I want to get the video out for today but I've got 33 feathers ready to go and I'm just gonna I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to uh, do this and uh, as far as texture goes let me just try it on one of these feathers by the way this was just a small lump of, of leftover clay this whole thing here is just off the trimmings and the scrapings of all these feathers so just shows you how much uh, reducing in weight doing what I did does. Okay, I'm going to put that aside. I'm still going to have some leftover I'm still going to have waste on as far as uh, clay. I'm thinking that I'm going to put the texture of the feather with this tool by Ken's Tools. I'm not sure I like that. No, it's okay. I'll show you what I'm going to do with the feathers. And again, this is going to be on all 33 feathers. It was a nice little texture to it. Now, I do the uh, texture, I'm going to put that scrap here, and uh, the next thing i got to do is make the quill. Both uh, on the front and back of the clay. Now, this is where it gets tedious. There's a difference in shape to the quill on the back from the quill on the front. I don't know if I'm going to get that anal, but I just. The back quill would be thicker than the front quill. Now you see why I did the feather texture before I put the quill on. 
working in clay is a little harder than working in wax because it has a tendency not to hold its shape as good as a wax does but it has a property that I wanted and that is uh, to make it look more sculptural I'm going to put it right on top of the uh, armature What I'll also do is uh, put some breaks in the uh, feather. This is just to give each feather a little bit of a character. I'm not going to do it on all the feathers, but I figured as long as I got you here, might as well show you what I'm going to do on some of them, not all of them. I think that's a bit much on this feather, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So that's uh, the next step, is just doing one feather at a time, giving it some character, and uh, placing it on another plate. that. Alright, that's what I'm going to be doing now. On the bottom of the feather, the, down here where the quill is, let me show you. You're going to have the quill is going to be wrapped in trade cloth and tied with string and uh, the quill would be split and, and folded back and into the quill and the wrap would be around that and then they'd sew the feather onto the headdress with that little loop that was created by the splitting of the uh, the quill and that's what I've got to create next as well as uh, making it so that I can stick this into the clay I gotta decide which ones are gonna have a bent end and which ones are gonna have a straight end and then I gotta figure out how long to make those bent ends and how long to make the straight ends. So there's still a lot to do. It, you know, it, the end product is worth the time. It seems like a lot of busy work, but uh, the end product is gonna look really cool. And a lot of this detail that I'm putting into it now will be taken down quite a bit hopefully all right good night everybody and i'll see you next time 
give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time